Guess what? Radio Master has a new radio. It's called Boxer, and if you think that the shape is kinda familiar, well, we both know from where the inspiration came from. So it's all clear. This is a sponsored video in a way that, yes, Radio Master provided me with the Boxer. However, Radio Master have not seen this video before it got published, and I was not paid to make a review. Let's have a detailed look at what exactly the Radio Master Boxer is. That's the Radio Master flagship, the TX16S. Not even the Mark II, but the good old Mark I with custom fancy colors. It's a great radio, I love it, I use it all the time. This, however, is the Radio Master Boxer. And you know what? I think that the Boxer might actually be a pretty nice competition to the TX16S. Maybe not the feature-wise, because let's be honest, Boxer is the weaker radio than the TX16S, but it comes pretty, pretty, pretty close and offers much more than everything else that Radio Master has in its offer right now. So without further ado, let's concentrate now only on the boxer and let me show you on what's what. First of all, this is the Express LRS version of the boxer. There is also the multi-protocol version, but if you ask me, the Express LRS is much more interesting flavor of the radio. Let's talk about the shape of the radio. Yes, Let's be honest, the shape of the radio was inspired by the TBS Mambo and there is no word about it. But of course, inspired doesn't mean cloned, because this is definitely not a clone of the TBS Mambo. In the front you get basically the standard setup for radios. You have standard buttons, you have the monochrome LCD and you have the standard roller that is installed on, I think, all the Radio Master radios. What's slightly less standard is that the six position switch was moved from the top of the radio to the bottom of the radio just above the LCD. And if you ask me, I think this is a very good idea because this makes the six position switch actually easily accessible while flying. Besides that, four trims, two potentiometers, and I do have to say that the potentiometers are firmly in place, they are moving with a lot of the resistance and have very noticeable detent and standard four switches. Those switches are two position switches and those are three position switches. And of course the gimbals. Those are the V4 Hull F8 gimbals that when required can be upgraded to the state-of-the-art Radio Master AG01 if you only want to. By default the springs are rather in the stiff position but because those are fully adjustable from the outside gimbals you can just take the small Aran wrench and use the screws on each of the gimbals to adjust the travel and the tension as well as the centering on the stick. So tuning the gimbal to fit your needs is absolutely not a problem. On the rear side of the boxer we get a big battery bay and while saying big battery bay I do mean it because also in the standard version you will get only the basket for two 800 lithium batteries but it will easily fit this monstrous of 2S 6 amp hours. This battery is only an accessory, is not shipped with the radio. But if you want to, you can buy it. We also get the full size JR battery for any type of the radio module you want and the new carrying handle which is well just from some kind of the fabric. Lighter, smaller, Yes, but well, I do miss the option of being able to use the battery handle as the stand for the radio. Over here we get the USB-C port for charging and bear in mind this is for charging of the LiPo inside of the bay and over here we get the antenna connector. Yes, this antenna came with the radio, trainer port, 
headphone jack and two buttons. This buttons is the latch on which you can use, for example, for arming and this one is the momentary button. Let's talk for a minute about the ergonomy and the handling. The radio is relatively wide, basically as wide as the TX16S, but it's also slightly shorter. The grip on the radio is okay and it feels pretty nice in your hands. Maybe not as nice as other radios but is absolutely okay. The side panel over here is rubberized plastic and well it fits nicely securely in your hands. Also the position of the gimbals means that it can be used both by the tumblers and the pinchers. I'm rather a pincher as you can see there is absolutely no problem with using the gimbals like this or like this. The switches are easily accessible when you have the grip on the sticks, but you will rather not change the position on the pots while flying because it takes quite a while to reach for those. Luckily, this six position switch is right now on the bottom, like I mentioned, and I do think it's a nice progress. And of course comes flashed with the HTX and version 3 of the Express LRS firmware. And while talking about the Express LRS inside, the Express LRS version has the fun for cooling of the Express LRS module. I like that. Very good idea. This video was created thanks to my Patreon and YouTube channel members. Thanks a lot guys, you're the main reason this channel keeps going. If you would like to help me to make videos for you, then please consider becoming one for as little as two bucks a month. And oh, hit the like button and write something in the comments, because yeah, the YouTube algorithm loves that. In terms of features, the boxer is positioned somewhere between the TX12 and TX 16. Yes, it's smaller than the TX16, it's lighter than the TX16, but has a very similar set of buttons and the switches, have nice adjustable gimbals that can be upgraded to the state-of-the-art AG01, a very nice placement of the six-position switch, can be equipped with either Express LRS or the multi-protocol module out of the factory and in general lies pretty nice in your hands. However, it's not as packed with features as TX16. First of all, the LCD. Yes, I know for many the LCD is not a problem because we are using monochrome LCDs for years. However, if you ask me, I was kind of spoiled by the color LCD that is put, for example, into the full-size TX16. It's just a slightly nicer experience. Yes, I know, doesn't help with flying, but I do kind of miss it. Second of all, I do miss SG and S8 switches over here. Sure, they are usually not used for the flippity floppy, but with airplanes and some more fancy usages, having two switches over here after all helps a little. Like for example me, on this one I had usually the option to disable the VTX and on this one I had the option to both enable the boozer and start the black box lock. On the other hand, lack of those switcher makes the radio smaller. And in some cases this is just a huge gain. I'm also not sold on this carrying handle. Somehow the metal, especially foldable metal, just seems like a better idea. On the other hand, because the carrying handle is attached with two screws, maybe it's time for some doing yourself or just the radio master in the future will just sell you attachable carrying handle for the boxer. But overall, I like it. The Boxer seems like a great radio for the pilots that do not really use all the features of the TX16. Because maybe you just do not need those two extra switches, do not need the color LCD, but you can appreciate that the radio is just smaller and lighter. And let's remember that the Boxer comes with the nice gimbals out of the box that can be upgraded to the Radio Master AG01. And then 
then, well, what else do you want? To be honest, I'm even considering if maybe I should replace my full-blown and fully upgraded TX-16S with the Boxer. Because if I will just swap the gimbals, I will have the same flying experience, but the radio will be smaller, lighter and, well, newer. And we all know that new is always better. Now, here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!